Hello, this is Andy Ford from Andy Ford Video, and we're going to take a look at the repeater in After Effects. Now, the repeater lets you duplicate and multiply a layer to do some advanced or professional looking effects by just using repeater. We're only going to scratch the surface today and take a very brief look at it. First, I have a shape layer. It's a star, but I've used my arrow keys to reduce the number of points. When you scroll down on your shape layer, you'll see the Add button. If you click that, you'll be able to add the repeater. When we twirl down, we can see that there's an option for copies and an option for offset. We'll increase the copies. I'll set my beginning keyframe for offset here, and I'll change the position to zero so the copies are all stacked on top of each other and set a keyframe. Moving ahead, I'll now change the offset and change the position. And you can see the animation start to happen here. I'll also set a keyframe for rotation because we'll get ready to explore that next. Also note you can duplicate a repeater. And this repeater 2 will respond to what is above it in repeater 1. Also, you can still make your regular adjustments to the shape layer. For example, we can set keyframes for position and rotation of our shape layer here so we can move them later on. Now we can work on repeater 2. We can change its position and rotation. And as mentioned, we can play with the position and rotation of the shape layer itself. Let's see what we have. Moving down the timeline, now we can play with the offset of the first repeater. And you can see that that will make the shapes leave the screen. I'll set keyframes for repeater 2's position and rotation because I want to show you some other movement next. Moving ahead in the timeline, we'll bring our offset back on repeater 1. And we can change the position and rotation on repeater 2. Adjust the position to bring it back to center and now you'll see we have a kind of grid. Before we leave this part of the timeline, we'll set a keyframe for copies on both repeater 1 and 2. And now because we've done that, if we increase the copies, we can make an entire background grid of this shape. And if we adjust the position keyframes on the repeater's end shape layer, we can end up with a background. So this is just a taste of some of the things you can do with repeater. You can see the possibilities here and how creative you can get in just a matter of minutes. So have fun exploring repeater. Thank you.